Hi, I'm Jack Guttentag, the mortgage professor. I've been helping borrowers understand their choices in the mortgage market for over two decades. Recently, I've been getting a lot of mail from mortgage borrowers asking about amortization. Most of my writers are considering whether to pay down their loan balance more rapidly and have suddenly realized that they don't know the best way to do that or even whether it's a good idea. I suspect many of my readers never fully grasped how mortgage amortization works. So let me take a minute to explain the essentials of amortization and why in today's market it's a good idea for most borrowers to speed up the process. Almost all mortgages today have fully amortizing payments. This is a payment which in most cases will pay off a loan over its term. When received by your lender, your fully amortizing payment is divided into two parts, the interest owed to the lender and the principal, which is deducted from your loan balance. The interest portion of your payment is calculated based on your loan's interest rate and remaining balance. The principal portion of your payment is whatever amount remains after the interest portion has been deducted. As you'll see, while your total payment amount stays the same from month to month, your interest and principal portions change in size. For example, let's say you have a mortgage of $100,000 at 4% for 30 years. The fully amortizing payment for your loan would be $477.42. This is how much you would pay every month. You can Google fully amortizing payment formula if you want to know how to calculate that. To calculate the interest portion in month number one, you multiply the balance of $100,000 times the annual interest rate of 0.04 and divide by the number of months in the year to get $333.33. When your lender receives your fully amortized payment, the first thing it does is to pay itself an amount equal to the interest portion. Your principal payment for the first month is what remains of your payment after paying your interest charge. Subtracting $333.33 from $477.42 gives $144.09 as the principal. Using this amount, your lender now reduces your loan balance to $99,855.91. Turning to month two, your new loan balance can be used to calculate the interest portion of your fully amortizing payment. Since you owe a smaller amount of money to the lender, your interest charge for the month is 48 cents lower at $332.85. That makes the principal payment in month two 48 cents higher at $144.57. This process repeats each month, with the interest gradually declining and the principal portion gradually rising. Every month that goes by, you're paying less and less interest because your principal balance is lower. One simple way to accelerate the payoff process of your loan is to pay some amount in addition to your fully amortizing payment. 100% of such extra payments becomes principal. Surprisingly, even small extra payments can have a large effect on your finances over time. If the payment in my previous example was increased by just $10 a month, you would pay off your loan 13 months early. And if you increased your payment amount by $100 a month, your loan would pay off 101 months early. That's nearly nine years. Making extra payments saves you money by reducing your interest expense. Benjamin Franklin famously once said, A penny saved is a penny earned. So you can think about these extra payments as investments that earn you a guaranteed return equal to your loan's interest rate, 4% in my example. Often, this rate of interest savings will outperform the yield on alternative investments. That's why paying down your loan balance is a good idea. The bottom line is, pay extra now, save extra later.
Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by Monger, the fastest way to pay off your loan. Visit monger.com to discover how you can pay off your loan early. Or for more great information, head over to mortgageprofessor.com.